Sherry, Eric Coffey. Well, hello. So how you been? Um, you know what? I feel like I have, um, I have a lot of questions and then, um, you know, I, I realize this is a short, short discussion for the, for the podcast and the topic. <laughs> um, and plus we only have 20 I'm, minutes cause I have, uh, some people right behind you. Sure. Sure. But that's okay. Well, well, We'll make it. Okay. We'll make I, the I twenty minutes useful. Okay, definitely, definitely. Okay. <laughs> so long or the short, I am a woman business enterprise. Okay. I have I have created products for um, events and also just some local boutiques in my area. And about two years ago, I saw a need for a product. My husband happens to be a um, construction safety director, okay. and I share a wall. And I heard him complaining one day about the need for a product, and he couldn't find it. And I said, well, you know, I make things. So if I make this, you will be my first tester, and you'll be my first customer. And he's like, deal, let's get it moving. So I started creating the tilt tr- truck covers, and um, I have since assumed that I would be only be selling to him and then a couple other general contractors in my area. And then I've recently had orders from uh, supplier um, warehouses and um, everything is just kind of rolling on at the same time. And I have intended, um, I've been following your your YouTube channel and kind of listening as I make things. And my, my two-year goal was that eventually I would like to start to sell things to the government. Okay. So... I did register on Sam. I kind of got all the bones rolling all at the same time as I'm learning. And I am receiving um, market surveys from different departments within the government asking if I would be the type of business that would uh, would like to be placing bids on it. And I'm getting enough of them right now. I should just have to hold up and wait and learn as I go. I want to maybe, you know, make the contacts and figure this one out exactly where I'm standing because there, there's, there's, it's just too many coincidences that things keep appearing in my emails right now. Mm. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Um, now, you know, when I hear that, and I think that you sent me an email um, regarding that matter, because I remember reading mm-hmm. an email to that effect. Um, right. And my response was, I believe, but it's the same for everyone. When, when you register in SAM, you start receiving a lot of solicitations or what appear to be mm-hmm. solicitations and they're actually third party vendors who are trying to sell you their services. Um, um, and so what I always tell people is to scroll down to the bottom and see if it's an actual agency or, um, you know, look at the URL, see if it comes from a .gov uh, domain name, mm-hmm. um, things of that nature that you can basically go backwards and see if this is a solicitation from a government agent or if it's a third party consulting firm, you know, research firm, um, mm-hmm. you know, someone trying to sell you their product, their service, their next gimmick. Um, that's the right. first thing that comes to mind. Uh, now, again, I'm not saying it's, it's not the government because I have many, many people who are getting direct solicitations from the government that are asking for their particular, you know, asking for pricing and things like that. So that, you know, right. that's, that's definitely uh, possible, but um, the more likely uh, situation is, in fact, that it's some other third-party vendor that's trying to sell you their services. So that's um, the first thing. That's the first part. Okay. Just just make sure and confirm that it is, in fact, the government. Um, and if you yeah, have I'm, something I'm, that I'm you tapping, want to forward I'm to me. I'm the email. Yeah, yeah, I'm tapping the email right now, and this looks like Air Force. You know, I mean, if you, again, if you have something from the government, uh, you mm-hmm. know, uh, yeah. listen, and trust me, these people are very convincing. I mean, forward it to me. I'll take a look at it. I don't, you sure, know, sure. I'll take a look at it okay. and see, because again, these people are very convincing. They'll put government logos on it. They'll put, they'll write the word Air Force. And then at the very bottom in fine print, they'll say, we are not a government agency. We are not affiliated with the government. We are a third party, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, again, let's, okay, let's assume that it is from the government, right? Mm-hmm. So now, um, your concern is what? Well, I, I did what, where my logical, where my brain goes to, which is 
check with the manufacturer that's making my product right now and see whether or not with the dimensions that are on this questionnaire, if this is a product that they would be willing to manufacture, if this is too large for them because it's it's way out of my scope. Uh, I do not have, I don't have a relationship with a manufacturer that makes this type of a product. Um, So that was, that was number one focus was, was, okay, within, within the people, within the people that I know, could they make this? And step number two is, if it does end up being real, and then I send a, a message back saying, you know, I would be interested in, in um, receiving solicitations or whatever, whatever form they're going to say it to me, um, what are the requirements if I, I think I would technically be somebody that would be, I guess, a general contractor if I'm grabbing other people that do this for a living? And actually hire out that contract and make a bid on it. Am I, I, I was listening to one of your podcasts one time about uh, collusion and, you know, who you can or can't bring to be a part of a bid. And well, one of the that's, things, that's kind of where I'm at. Right. Mm-hmm. So one of the things um, that, you know, the reason why I talk about federal contracts as opposed to, to government contracts is because you're less likely to fall into uh, a category of collusion on the federal level. Okay. Um, okay. You know, that kind of stuff happens at the lower tiers. Um, at the sure. federal level, it's it's really difficult for you to collude because um, it, it's just, they're just different provisions. Or di- I mean, obviously, pe- you know, the people that collude are usually the big companies, you know, and those are, okay. the, you know, $50, $100 million type projects. But um, right. at the smaller level, it's, it's, um, it's very difficult to prove collusion. In fact, because they have so many programs that encourage you to work with other people in terms of teams, joint ventures, and whatnot, um, it's just a simple, you know, form that you put together and you guys sign it, and all of a sudden we're a team. So we're not, okay. you know, whereas they don't have those types of provisions um, in the, the the local arenas and the state arenas. Um, so you, okay. I would not worry about collusion, um, so to speak. Yes, now. If the, you're saying would you, you would be a general contractor. Now, in the federal arena, uh, you don't have to be licensed to be to actually, uh, over, you know, run a project. You, you know, you just okay. have to have hired licensed people to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't have to have all the expertise. So you would be more of like a management consultant where you're putting together all the pieces to solve the problem for the government. And that's what they're looking okay. for. They're just looking for someone to be responsible to put together all the moving pieces and parts to get the task accomplished within the price and within the time that they set out. That's mm-hmm. all. Um, and then at the same time, meet the requirements that they ask. And, you know, as long as you could do that, then you're fine. But um, I don't see, I don't see an obstacle right yet. I haven't seen, I haven't mm-hmm. heard one yet. I'm listening for one. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm well, listening for an obstacle. With, I mean, I hear apprehension. Of, amount of hours, with the amount of hours that I've listened to your voice, I'm like, okay, so what direction do I go now? Well, um, I mean, if you have, if you have, okay, so uh, I'm working on this now, but if you have a product that you think the government can use, you can, um, there's two things that you can do. Um, it's a physical product. Yes, but that that isn't really... That wasn't even the direction of my okay. two-year plan. Okay, quite so honestly, this was just that. That was what I was building up to for my two-year plan. Was that okay. someday I'll sell this to the government? But okay. the other stuff of asking if I would be willing to, you know, um, maybe jump into an area which is completely out of my out of my comfort zone and completely out of my realm of knowledge. But I said there must be a reason. I keep I keep getting asked this question. So I need to find the people that know the answer to that question and then sit next to them and, and then listen. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And that's great. That's uh, great advice. Whoever gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's true. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm the- a researcher at heart. So if I can't figure it out and I can't find the place that has what I need, you know what? I need a pin made. You know what? Who does McDonald's use to make their pins? And then I hunt that guy down. I just, that's just me. That's how my mind works. Well, that's that's the uh, fastest way to the prize. All right. So you're doing so you're doing the right things. Um, 
Okay. You're, do, you're taking the right steps. You're doing the right things. What I was going to say, um, even though that's, that may not be your direction, um, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm making a video to this effect. Again, I tell okay. people I have a lot of stuff in my brain that I want to release, but it takes time. It takes research. Mm-hmm. You know, it just, I mean, it's a lot of work. Uh, yes. And, and yes. it's not like, it's, I can't, how do I say this? I outsource everything possible. But mm-hmm. again, the actual video itself and the content, you can't really outsource because, you know, I haven't figured out how to do that yeah. yet. Uh, okay. But uh, so there's two things that you can do if you decide that you want to pursue that opportunity, the invention that you created. Um, you can do unsolicited proposals to the government. Um, okay. You can, you can uh, basically search that in the FAR. But there's such a thing called unsolicited proposals. You can do that to the government. Um, mm-hmm. And number two is GSA, on the GSA schedules, if your product fits into one of the categories, there is a section for, uh, what do they call it? Hold on, let me look it up on my computer. Uh, by the way, unsolicited proposals is in FAR section subpart 15.6. Just in case okay. you're interested, I will. I will pull it up. Yes. <laughs> um, and GSA schedule. Da, 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 da. All right. They have under each schedule, they have what's called introduction of new products. So okay. you can, if are you familiar with how GSA schedules work? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if you find a, a category uh, section where your product would fall under that particular section. And the it doesn't exist, then you they have a category called introduction of new products, and you could okay. have your product placed under that. Or uh, sometimes it's called introduction of new services, and it says this uh, SIN number includes new or improved mm-hmm. commercial services or products that perform tasks or procedures not currently available under any GSA contract. So that okay. those are uh, two options for you for your invention idea. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.